happy Tuesday from the shed. The she shed, the crafting shed, the shed that I come in when I want to feel depressed because it's untidy. There's nothing on the floor, well, said there's nothing on the floor, no wool or yarn or whatever you want to call it is on the floor. I just came in here to see what state it was in, really. And it's so depressing. And I hate depressive videos, I really do. You know, videos where people whinge all the time and whine all the time and... I don't like it. Oh, look. A light bulb for my light, which I know not where it is. Yes. Oh, it's... It's great, isn't it? I didn't go singing today because, to be quite truthful, I'm absolutely fed up with the place being so cold. And I feel the cold. I really feel the cold. And I am not going to, you know, go and sing in the freezing cold. This is why I've got me, me cuddly on today because the shed, it has got heating if I plug it in. But as I'm not planning on stopping, um, I haven't got it on. I'm just looking at patterns at the moment. That was gorgeous. I made that for my niece. Beautiful it was. I don't know whether I've got the patience to do it again. But one never knows, does one? Yeah. Oh, thank you all for your lovely comments on my last video. Yeah. I'm just looking at patterns. I'm not looking for anything big because, as you know, I'm not taking anything large to, um, to the craft show this time. That is a free pattern and I've made it many, many, many times and I do love it so much. It's Doris Chan's All Show. As far as I know, it's still free on Ravelry. Oh, hello. Why is it whenever I do a video, somebody wants me? Oh, I'm just hoping it's not my son because... No, it isn't. Because I've locked the front door and if he hasn't got his key, he'll wonder where on earth I am. But, oh, hey-ho. He should take his key, shouldn't he? Yeah, and that's a, a nitty hat. I'm looking for bits of things, you know, that you can put on a on a stall. Please don't say washcloths. Crochet rocks and I are in the same opinion about washcloths and towel toppers. <laughs> what on earth is a towel topper? Um, right, I'm just looking if there's anything. Oh, there's some shawls in there. It's from simply crochet from one of their edits I'll take that in the other in the I nearly said in the other house this is not my house this is my shed um, and you know I'll take that and have a look oh those are nice aren't they for myself I must have kept this old copy of simply crochet it's got cabled mittens, cabled hat and cabled scarf. I quite like that. Hmm. That's a me for winter. Because blimey, it's gone cold here. I tell you, this cuddly is beautiful. Honestly, it's really warm. Look at it. Ooh. Not cold in the slightest. And there's no heat on over here. In the, well, in the shed there isn't. Uh -huh. See, I must be missing me singing. I'm not missing the cold, though, but I'm missing the singing, yeah. Right, I found another possibility, although I do have a box with all cowls in it. But these are cowls. This is a Leisure Art by Lisa Gentry. Oh, I've not heard of her for a while, yeah. It's called Crochet Cowls. There's quite a lot in there. Obviously, it's an older book because it's one I've had for a while. But it is kind of cowl season, isn't it, coming up now? Although I've never been able to wear those cowls that, you know, just a round one. I never get the, the hang of them right, you know. They always seem to bunch up under my coat. They always look so nice on other people. But I always get them all fast up in my collar or my hood or whatever. I never get them quite right. But everything seems to be falling off. I came in here, actually, to look for what I had left in the cowls and what I had left in stuff like that. 
but I'm here sitting down and everything's over there in boxes so I come in here full of everything I'm gonna do it I'm gonna do it and then I get in here and it like dissipates and it's like it's a bit cold or um, no I don't think I want to do it today I'm a great procrastinator, did I tell you that bit? I'm very good at that. Very good at... So I've got sweetie papers in my... I've got a big kangaroo pocket. I love this top because it makes me feel tiny because it's so big. Yeah. I think it's about a 6X or something. So I feel like a little teeny, teeny thing inside it, you know. It would fit me so look, it's got long arms. But, um, it's mine. Right, my son has um, evolved a different way with the log burner yesterday, actually. He bought some coal or smokeless coal or something, a bag of it. And he's been talking with his friend who lives in Scotland and they've got a log burner. I was just, just burning logs for fun and I kept thinking, I'm sure this isn't right. I see other people's log burners and they're a gentle glow, you know. Ours was like a furnace going... <laughs> So you were either freezing cold or you were too hot. Anyway, he evolved a different method yesterday. He put the wood on and then he let it burn down a bit. And then he put some smokeless coal on top. Brilliant. I didn't have to put any more on it. He lit it about um, half past eight. He lit it. And when I went to bed at, I was very late, I was watching something on the telly. It was about half one. When I went to bed about half one, it was, the fan was still whirring around. We have a, a non-electric fan on top of the stove, so it wafts the air around the room and upstairs and everywhere. Still going round. And there were still glowing embers. That was brilliant. One lot of whatever he put on it, I need lessons in how to do that bit, because that was the first time he tried it last night. He showed me how to light it with the wood and all of that jazz but then it was burning too fast so the chat he had with his friend in Scotland obviously worked wonders because it was great didn't have to feed it didn't have to stoke it up oh <laughs> that was something landing on the roof I think I hope I don't know <laughs> I'm just hoping Mr Mouse or Mrs Mouse hasn't found his or her way in here I did have a good look round and stamp my feet when I came in. So far, touching wood, no, no vermin seems to have found its way in here. Or varmints, if you used to watch the Beverly Hillbillies, yeah. So what am I going to do? I don't really know, yeah. I did come in, actually, on the hunt for one thing, which I think is over here. I bought some gorgeous wool from Countess of Blaze. Many years back when I was, um, oh, my knitting needles just bit the dust. Oh, yes, I do have knitting needles, yes. And they are in my mum's old jug. <laughs> I've even got aero knitting needles in here, which are like gold dust, I believe now. Right, I was looking for, I went to, ah, there's one of them. I went to Countess of Blaze many years back and um, they do hand dyed yarn in Manchester, they're the only shop I know. This is one of them and I wish you could feel how soft it was. It's um, alpaca and silk. It's absolutely glorious. It's, uh, oh no this isn't actually, this one's from the Natural Dye Studio. It's 100 grams, 280 yards, and at the time it was 10.99. A bargain! Probably be about £18 now. Um, and it's alpaca and silk, and it is so soft. I thought this was one that I bought from um, Countess of Blaze, but it's not. And this one, um, I don't know what this is. Oh, it's got a tag. No, it doesn't. It just has a tag. Where it's tied together. This is another hand dyed yarn, but it's a bit rough. This one, this one would be socks. That one I would not use for socks. It's too soft, too beautiful. 
and I poke my toes through socks to be quite truthful so I would wear them out in two seconds flat and no I don't have sharp toenails I do go to the uh, chiropodist but what am I looking for I thought it was in this section and I don't know why it's not here I've got some lovely yarn in here fine yarn I've even got a scarfy cake Ooh. aha 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 I may have discovered something. This may be it. Oh, then again, it may be not. Oh, it might be. It might be. Oh, it is. Countess of Blaze, I found it. In a nice purple, crinkly bag. This one has got camel, if I remember rightly. Oh, I wish I had my seeing eyes on. 50% uh, baby camel. And 50% mulberry silk. It is so, so soft. Beautiful. Look at the colours on that. I can't remember how much I paid for it. I know it was like a... When I went to the cash register. But, you know, I do like nice yarn. But I like to squish it and squash it rather than actually make anything with it. Oh, but it is so soft. So soft. And this one has got greens in it as well as the purples. This again is another um, baby camel and mulberry silk. This one's called Exotic Traveller. The other one was called, let me see. Oh, that was called Christopher Morris, the Exotic Traveller, but there must be. That must be his range, exotic Trolliver, traveller. Oh, this one is, I can't say what it is. It's twee, and it rhymes with hollyhocks, or bullocks, yeah? You know what I mean? Can't say it on here, can I? So that's what that's called, yeah? So maybe the name of this one is Christopher Morris, and this one is twee bullocks. <laughs> It's gorgeous, isn't it? I wish you could feel it. I really wish you could feel it. It's so fabulous. I really must make something with it. For myself, of course. Yeah. I've got a bill in here. I don't know. But I think the bill was for something that was in here. Yarn porium, whatever that was. I've got a bill. But this is for something completely different, I think. Sorry if I'm boring. Um, oh, this one was for Deeply Wicked. It was the one I made my hat from, but I don't like it, so I'm going to have to unravel it and make something else. The stripes went, instead of going that way, the stripes went that way. And I was knitting it on some very, very slippy knit pick needles. And they just kept, the stitches just kept sliding off. And I picked them up as best as I could, but they were just uneven, and I'm a bit of a perfectionist. I don't like things like that. This one is very pretty. It's got sparkles. Sparkle. This one is called um, Specials Scarfy Cake. I don't know who made it. I don't know who made it. Isn't it pretty? It's my colours, all pinks and purples, but it's got a glitter. Oh, Janet, you are going to have to start making something with this gorgeous fine yarn. Yes, you are, you are. Oh, dearie me. We seem to have some kind of a yarn bath here. Oh, it's a right mess. Oh, this is a mess. Look at that. Looks like Rosie's had a go at that one. Although she hasn't. What was it? Oh, it was James C. Brett. Northern Lights. One ball, one shawl. That's what it was. And uh, it's got 450 metres. I think I actually bought this when I was in Manchester when I could get around and about a bit. Yeah. It just says 150 grams, but typical of 
yarn you buy in the UK, it doesn't always tell you, oh it does tell you the metres, I do beg your pardon, 450 metres, 492 yards, hand wash only, well you would wouldn't you, but this I think is going to have to be sorted. I know why I came in the shed, apart from looking at the disaster, I came in to get me wool winder, that's what I came in to get. Oh, I don't know where the end of this is now. It's stuck around something. Aha! 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 I think I should start with that, don't you? No, Rosie's not got to that one. That's happened all on its own. Oh, my goodness, it goes on and on and on and on. Oh, for heaven's sake, that's going to take me all afternoon to sort that out, isn't it? I mean, I did actually think of coming in here and finding me Addy machines um, or as Leslie from <laughs> not quite enough yarn calls them her whirly whirly um, but I'm doing things for the um, craft fair at the minute I'll use me whirly whirly when it's time to make things for you know craft hats for the homeless etc etc I'll put that in my pouch if you want to know my pouches my pouches where you warm your hands in this so, yeah, this is all me. Oh, this is pretty. I started it with something, but obviously I didn't finish. Start as you mean to go on and don't finish. Um, well, do where I got that from? See, it's like a trip down memory lane, this. It's called Nako or Nako. Nako, Nako. Uh, Mohair Special. Romantic. And beautiful. Beautiful, isn't it? Oh, that's so gorgeous. Don't know whether I could wear it though, it's got no hair. Maybe that's why I stopped crocheting it because it had no hair in it. Oh, next door, making a noise. I don't think I liked the way it had the white, I think that's what's bothering me. Because I'd started something with white. And also, it might be a bit itchy. And I tell you what I've forgotten to do, I've forgotten to set my timer. So I'm going to be waffling away here and I'll probably put myself up in my prize. But never mind. Yeah, I wanted to know what I had in like shawl type thicknesses. Oh, I've got some more purple here. What's this one? Oh, shawl in a bowl. I must have got this sent by somebody because I don't buy, you know, the American. This is Lion Brand. Shawl in a ball. Isn't that pretty? Isn't that pretty? Pretty, pretty. Yeah. Shawl in a ball. What colour was it? I don't know. Community Coral. That's not a nice name for one, is it? Community Coral. Anyway, it's pretty. Pretty, pretty, pretty. But I must have got that from America. Oh. Hey, you know, I should come in here more often, shouldn't I? I should come in here now. This is pretty. What's this? I've obviously started using it. It's only a part ball. This one's Red Heart Boutique Unforgettable. I like, oh yeah. I remember buying that actually. I did. I used to be able to get Unforgettable. But my favourite one was Dragonfly. Which I've still got a bit of over here actually. I made so many things with this Dragonfly. And it Everybody loved it. I kept getting repeat orders for it. The dragonfly colour, isn't that lovely? If you're in the UK, it's very much like, um, you know, the boho spirit. It's the, but not as quite as expensive. Oh, I've got another ball of that uh, shawl in a ball. The one with the pinks and the purples. Oh, I should start using this. It's so pretty to leave it here. Much too pretty. Oh, my friend would go mad if she saw this. Merino. Merino. Merino silk. But it's purple, so I won't give it to her. And also, it is so thin. Look at that. It's spider. I bought a book from Christine Omdal, and she had the most beautiful jacket in it. And, you know, over-ambitious Annie here, you know, she decided she wanted to make this jacket. So I ordered this merino silk. It cost me an arm and a leg. And of course I never made it. 
I never made the jacket. Oh, what have we got down the back of here? Do you know, I should, I should honestly look more. Oh, this is sock yarn again. Ooh, sock yarn again. Why did I buy so much sock yarn when I don't knit socks? Uh, Two Root Valley or something, this is. Um, what is it? Oh, this one came from my friend in Australia, Claire Wilson, or Bob Wilson, one, two, three, Claire. Crafting with Claire. It's Australian yarn. Australian Merino Superwash. Isn't that beautiful? Why are they all here? Why do I not use them? I'm so stupid. And I'm going to put them back again now, because I'm not in them, you know, ready to start them just yet. But at least I've jogged my brain, haven't I? I've jogged my mind, yes. Oh my goodness me. I must have had a thing about buying it. Oh, this was pretty. I remember buying this. I was with Kelly, I think, when I bought this. I think we went to the Knitting and the Stitching exhibition in Manchester when I bought this. Once again, eyes bigger than, you know, me, me hook. Kinko Shine Double Knitting. Isn't that pretty? It's got glitter on it. Yeah, Kelly had met this guy on the bus, actually. It turned out that him and his son were having a, a stall at Knitting Stitching in, in Manchester. And um, we went to, um, to speak to him. And uh, we got a discount <laughs> because she'd been chatted to. Oh, there's this sock yarn. This is my bog standard sock yarn, which I might jettison on somebody who actually makes socks. Um, it's not hand dyed or anything like that. This this is uh, wool Woolcroft Superwash sock wool. I must have bought these when I was in a sock making mood. Yeah. This one's pinks, which I'm not a lover of pinks. Who likes pinks? Somebody likes pink. Thinking. Thinking. Who can I gift pink to? Yeah. Um, oh, read your stretch. This is most peculiar trying to um, to knit with this because it stretches as you're going along. Read your stretch. I'll have to find somebody who's into knitting socks, won't I? I don't think Zoe, 24 karat crochet, I think she's not knitting socks at the minute. One of my friends at Knit Club, she knits socks, but she hand dyes her own yarn, so I don't think she'd be interested in any of this. Although you never know. You never know, you look, you know, that could be you. Right, now I've finished pulling everything apart and putting everything back again. Oh, I did. I've got a couple of these. I, I used to use them. These were lovely. Um, wool free lace, uh, premier yarn. It was shawl in a ball kind of thing. I had a creamy coloured one there. I don't know if I've still got it or not. They, they're supposed to make a shawl, but I don't know. You'd probably be a small shawl, wouldn't it? But this is some I've still got left from ice. It's a besom to crochet with, but it's beautiful. It's got sequins in it. But it is a pain in the in what you sit on. It's a pain in that, yeah. Right, I think that I'm not looking anymore on it. Oh I could I could jettison that. That's Bambino. One of the girls at Nick Club, she bits for babies, so I could jettison that because I'm not looking for any babies at the minute. Uh, that can go. Um yeah, that was more Nako, but that's in the pinks. I wish I could remember who likes pink. Somebody likes pink. And I am trying to think who likes it. Oh, I sure. This is lovely to make work with. It's like a, a mercerized. I wish I could still buy ice yarns, but I can't afford the plumbing. It's not the postage so much. It's all the taxes and everything they stick on it. You know, as well as. I need a bag for all of this, don't I? Can't put it back on the shelf without a bag. I don't like seeing loose loose yarn, if you know what I mean. And I would hate to see it all over the floor. 
that was, you know, I know I'm not the tidiest person, but having wool all over the floor is just no, no, in my opinion. You don't put wool on the floor. Um, not only that, but you could get any kind of creature could come in a mouse or anything and start nibbling it. Yeah, if it was any kind of dark colour, I could give it to my friend because she likes all the darker colours. If you saw the the, the cake I got yesterday that was all shades of grey and that, I've given that to my friend because she does like dark colours, so, yeah. Anyway, considering I came in to look for cowls and I haven't looked for anything, I think I'd better go, don't you? But I have gone through my sock, my, my, my goodies with you, haven't I? My merinos and my goodies and my sock behind that I need to make into something other than a sock. I mean, the one I got yesterday, the Haunted House one, was it? The one from Floof Yarns. I'm go definitely going to make a pair of long hand warmers. They are not going into socks. It's sacrilege to put merino wool in socks. Absolutely. That one I might make into a sock. If they ever get around to knitting socks again. That one, because it feels a little bit rough. Rough is great for socks. Might be not for your feet, but look is great for socks. Yeah. Right, I'm going to go now. I might look in my cowls before I leave, but not on camera because I have to stand up and rummage. So I'll speak to you very soon. I hope I didn't bore you today. As I say, I didn't go singing because the hall is freezing cold and I am not sitting in the freezing cold singing. Warm libraries I can do. Warm churches I can do. Freezing cold libraries. Not freezing cold libraries. Freezing cold Halls. No. I'm going to go, so I shall see you all very soon. My cuddly and I will delve into the cowls, so you might see another video, you may not. <laughs> Who knows? Bye now.